Hey all you ghoul scouts and deadbeats, October is Other Place Month. We'll have new episodes every week featuring some of your favorite GMs and players on our Discord, and at least one exciting announcement during the month of October. Be the first to hear all the latest by subscribing to The Other Place, following us on Twitter, and joining our Discord. The three of you get back to the poor side. It's been 20, no, 48-ish, maybe a little more than that, maybe three days since you were here mm -hmm. originally. The place is busy-ish, not quite as busy as it was the other night because the doors to the outside are closed and it's a little bit chilly out. But there are a few people inside. Getting in, you spot Ravnik pretty quickly the big stone folk across, right across from the door. He's sitting on the outside of a booth. Next to him, his sword. Uh, he's not wearing the white cloak of the fellowship at the moment. Oh, well, that's good. Do you have anything you'd like to notice with your two advantages, AJ? I want to notice, is there anybody else that has a Ravnik posture that is carrying a sword? Is but specifically, is there a reptile folk that is eyeing me down with a sword or something? There are no grant folk right. in the poor side currently. You don't really notice anybody who has the posture or authority look about them in this place. Most of the people here look like they just got off a shift on the docks. A uh, few of them look like travelers, and you spot the people who work there. We're going to say tonight it's uh, Hutchin and Anza working the bar and moving food around. Second advantage? Second advantage, what else could we... All right, so basically I don't want to make sure there's no other guys in disguise. And then I, I guess, are there any of um, Branson's guys no, you don't. You don't spot Rock or or anybody who you'd seen at Branson's. The only other person who catches the remotest amount of attention um, is just because they don't look like they're from Gilder, and it's uh, an Isian with a big floppy hat and a vest, and she's sitting in off off in one corner watching everything that's going on right now. The two of you head to Rabinick. He does not stand up when when you get to him. His face is hard to read, as most stone folk are. Mm -hmm. You can't really tell what's going on behind his stony visage. He says, have you come to give yourselves up? Oh, well, I don't know what to give, but I can give you me. Hi, I'm Talona. Nice to meet you. Ravnik, this is uh, our, our friend Talana. Talana. She's uh, wonderful. Um, perhaps we ought, we should have a seat and, and discuss what, what, what you mean. Perhaps you should. Oh, great! I'm going to sit right next to him. It, thank you. He towers over you, and the stones in his neck grind against each other as he turns his head and looks I'm down gonna look at you. I'm going to look up at him with my big eyes. You're so handsome and tall and strong. I bet you get that a lot, though. All right. Are we leading with a charm check? Sure. It's true. You absolutely are. Let's see. Is it average? Is it hard? It's three purples. It's three hard. Three purple. Okay. And any boost? For being cute and adorable? For being someone he doesn't know? You can have a boost for catching him off guard. It's a wash. It is a wash. No charm, but no, like... Yeah, nothing bad. He just kind of ignores you and turns his head back towards... Roberto. I'm going to come back with the drinks. All right. So I got drinks for everyone. Puts down the carrot juice with a little spice in it. Uh, you, here's a, 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 a mead for Tulana. And uh, Ravnik, I didn't know what you wanted to drink. I just figured I would go ahead and get you another carrot juice. Um, play it safe. And it sits down with his own mead. <laughs> I've heard what the three of you have been doing. 
Killing undead? Yes. We don't like the undead yeah. things. They need to be dead again. Well, why don't you go... Why don't you lead with that, Ravnik? And, um... Oh, yeah. Uh, he asked us if we've come to turn ourselves in to him. Um, uh, oh, what? And, yeah, well, you why know, and that's... Do you, yeah, that. Well, uh-huh. So... Yeah, so what's you, going on? Yeah. What 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 do you know, Ravnik? What, 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 what are you hearing? Do you know what the punishment is for necromancy in Gilder? Whoa, dude, I just kill undead things. I don't call them forth. I have nothing to do with necromancing. I kill undead things with my big axe here because they li- don't like my steel. So I just kill them. Listen, little lady. I don't know who you are, but this Kanara. Kanara. He's a necromancer. Hey, hey, look, Ravnik, let's not use that word here right now. Um, I, I got a couple questions for you. Would, would you be so kind as to tell me how you and why do you think I am? We've gotten reports from various people across the city, speaking of a necromancer in town. Same night, our tower burns down. Who was there? Two of you. Is that that guy that we fought the other day? The one that was way up high that was calling all those undead things to that city that we were in? No, it wasn't that. Tulana, 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 you weren't here three days ago, so stop thinking that this was three days ago. I don't know. I just know that that was um, that big old necromancer that was trying to kill no, that city that, was, that we were protecting, look, and, uh-huh. and he was uh, evil. Yes. Well, well, yeah, yeah. Yes. Let's, let's, yeah. First things first, let's get out what we wanted to tell you, and then we can resolve what you're complaining about. We have this letter that I'm going to give to you now. As you notice, it has a seal on it. It is from the the Burgermeister of Vane. If you'd be so kind as to open that up and read it, we can wait for you. He takes the letter, opens it up, reads it. Why would you deliver this to me? Why would we we not? There was a necromancer in Vane, and Mm -hmm. you were in Vane. You're saying that you were in Vane. We were in vain. We were fighting the necromancer, and that right there shows from the actual burgermeister that we were the ones who helped defend the town. And we brought it to you because we didn't know if you would get it or not because of all the activity that was going around. Furthermore, after the Battle of Vane, of which we defended the city, we went to investigate where the other necromancer was. In our tracking, there's at least 100 dead strong moving towards Greenfield. Leadership check? From whom? <laughs> I think either one of you. Group check? I wouldn't mind a group check. I got a rank in it. I, got a rank I have in no it. ranks. How many dice do you have? Two. Two. <laughs> so yellow to green both. Okay. So you want us both to roll it or roll it together and get a boost in the roll? Or how are we going to do this? Just probably roll it together. I mean, I'd be happy for the two of you to roll it separately because it's against a red and two purples. Ah. I can roll it. Okay. Leadership. So you get a boost because I'm helping. A red Mm -hmm. and two purples. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to flip. You good with that? Sure. Can we get a boost because we're best friends? I don't think so. (laughs) Can we get a boost because we brought him a drink? He's not drinking it. I wouldn't either. You don't, you're not sure if stone folk eat or drink. All right. It's not the point. It's the leadership. gesture that counts. <laughs> Two successes. It's the gesture that counts. Ooh. All right. I'm going to hold on to that threat. <gasps> of course you are. Of course you are. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> and he says, even if this is true, mm-hmm. we've had reports of necromancers all across Guildland over the past week. Wow. Why should I believe... You're not just another one. Well, first off, I'm not. So you can believe that part. Second, the point about us getting this back to you is because we're concerned for the people that are going to be caught in the wake of all that mess. Didn't know there was some big giant hoopla going on, you know, down here in Gilder with the airship and all. And we didn't want to chance things not getting to the right people. We figured that at the least, we could reach out to you and you could get it to the right people. As far as Roberto being a saint, Roberto, you want to answer that one? Do you know anything about Kanara and their traditions? I would love for him to make like this lore check and be like, of course, I know everything about them. 
I've heard some things. Have you heard about what they do with their dead and how they have family traditions that talk about having a conductor that helps their family transition to death? Yes, and fortunately for them, the giant's planes are outside the jurisdiction of the Iron Tower. There's that threat. But so long as you have Kanara, you're going to have folk that help their family to the other side should they pop up and, and what are you doing here instead of helping your family up north well my family's colony collapsed due to undead we were dispersed and were traitors and travelers so we came to Gilder to look for help we do everything in our power to make sure that we get rid of the dead speaking of which Here's a location of a ghost that I that we found. Okay, here I'll put it on right on the back. I'll put there. I put a stone out there that notifies people that there's a ghost. Okay, it's hungry. Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do about the ghost or this necromancer that you say is walking east. We've got orders. We're heading north. What's Wait, north? Why are you heading north? So you're gonna let all those people die? If you know what's best for you. You three will leave you have town. have no heart? You're gonna let all those people die? Who's got the highest discipline? Discipline, well, I, just I don't have think Talana has rank. anything called discipline. Oh, you have a rank. I have a rank. Uh, I have a rank, but I have three dice I'm rolling out of I have one yellow, one green is what I have. I'm tied for one yellow, one green. I've got one yellow and two Soldier. green. Okay. What am I rolling against? <laughs> and, I'm uh, rolling his coercion. Or oh. you can roll against his coercion. Ooh. So he's trying to coerce us to leave. Yeah. Yeah. So he changed his mind from giving us in to getting out of here. Interesting. I've got coercion too, by the way. It's more of a threat than anything. <laughs> you know what? I'll be happy to do a, 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 a contested coercion check back at him. We'll see how his coercion goes. That's fair. That's fair. Okay. Oh, All right. oh. You got a triumph and another threat. No successes. One threat. One triumph. What does that mean? It means well, we're not cool. It means he didn't threaten. The threat didn't carry weight to me, but there's something with the triumph. Mm hmm. And a threat. The triumph is the thing that is happening. Did you have an idea for the threat? A boost to our next check, or um, he's not. He doesn't really want to threaten us. He says. Listen, I like Branson, and I like the two of you, and I don't want to see the two of you get hurt. But if you don't leave town or give yourselves up, I can't make any guarantees. Can you protect the people that are going to be in the way of the whole, like, horde of undead people that are coming to kill them? He just said that he couldn't. I'm only a builder. I can't do much. We've got our orders from the top, and we have to follow them. If our course intercepts that necromancer great if then it doesn't die that's and then it. your hearts wait, are just wait. dead how i've never seen this many paladins in one place you're gonna lead all these paladins against that necromancer which necromancer are they talking about we've been ordered back to the tower what wait so 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 you've I'm sorry. Just forgive me for just a moment. I, I get that we got a threat looming over our heads and, and that it is bad things are going to happen if we stay around. But if... I'm sorry, Ravnik. I don't understand. Why are you being called back? That's like saying, oh, all the people that protect everyone in the neighboring villages and towns and everything else in this entire region suddenly getting pulled back and going, nah, we're going to go to the tower instead. What? Why? That makes no sense. Obviously something important. They just want to let people die, and they're willing to let people be little pawns in their little scheme, and all these people are going to die because they just don't care. I don't I don't know if that's really the is case. Is doing a coercion? I think she pretty much is. I just don't think yeah. you care. Yeah. I, yeah, I can do coercion. coercion, and it's against. I just don't see why you can't just, you know, like, all these people are going to die. They trust you. They they give you guys stuff, they they trust their lives in your hands, and you just don't care. It's gonna be what? Against the red and two purple? Red and two purples. <laughs> yep. Did she use that boost? Yep. Ugh. Two threats. 
It could be worse. Just don't. And Talana's crying. There's tears. Oh, these sincere, sincere tears. tears. She's sincerely crying because she's thinking of all these people who are dying and she's thinking of her sister who died. And you don't care, just like my sister who died. And you don't care about the people who just they give their lives and they just Red trust you for protection. Her maid a little bit closer to her, and and grabs a paw and puts it up on her glass. And how how, how you doing? <laughs> Um, <laughs> Ravnik, we under we we understand that you you have orders, and you have to do what you're told to do, and we respect that. Um, we will be leaving. We we're going east to do our best to defend our this nation and the are the people, okay? And and look, Kalen Clara said, you know, that times are coming when we're gonna have to share knowledge and we're gonna have to and our future existence is based on the shared knowledge of everybody, okay? He seems like a really wise Hilia. You know, um so know that as friends we're gonna miss you and we, we we really wish you you would be, and your paladins would come fight in the plains with us and that'd be great and all but um whatever knowledge you have make make sure it gets passed on and written down about what you know about the undead okay because if all these necromancers are popping up that's bad news for everyone everywhere um but you yeah we're we're, we're leaving buddy we're sorry if we got you into any trouble or anything that that was never our intention just so you know okay um they said you were nice but you don't care no he he's doing his job he he's doing his job to let people his die duty. i yep. thought paladins were around to protect the people not let them die not to like go we're gonna protect you and then T walk Lana, away and let them Lana, die that's what they did with Lana, my sister Lana, Lana, to oh, to Lana, to Lana. Puts a hand on her shoulder. I'm gonna no. lean in into your shirt. It's not. <laughs> oh gosh, it's oh, okay. Pets her. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. She's. Ravenix stones rumble, and he stands up. <laughs> He's a worker. He can't sway everybody, but he could at least pass up our note up up the chain. It's supposed to be getting another one coming from. Wait a second. Hang on. Ra it real quick. Uh, sorry. There's a discrepancy with um, the report from the Burgermeister. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can help us clarify that at all. But oh, yeah. you, as far as you know, everyone's been called here and then is being called north, right? Most. Okay. Because three paladins were supposed to be headed to Vane to deal with the necromancer there. But we never saw them on the way back to here. Do you know anything about that at all? He folds the letter and puts it in one of his pockets on his belt and says, I'll pass this up the ladder. If there are three after you and you haven't seen them, you should probably be watching over your shoulder. Oh, well, all right then. <clears throat> so we save people's life and people just could want to kill us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Talana, to be honest, they're not after you. If you want to walk away now, you're more than welcome to. And do what? Let protect, have the paladins protect me? They're not going to protect me. They just said they're not going to protect us. My yeah, axe is the only thing that will protect me. me. It's the only thing that will kill the undead. And the only thing that the dead people right. will die again. And I'm going to kill the necromancers because they're evil, horrible, rotten people. And anyone who comes in the way, and I'm just going to kill them. And, and, oh. and you just tell your paladin friends they're big, fat losers who can't protect people. So little people like me have to protect ourselves because... The entire bar falls silent, <laughs> oh and everybody stares at the commotion I'm happening up on my chair. in the booth off to the side. Oh boy! <laughs> and Ravnik sheathes his sword and says, "I'll do what I can." Yeah, that's what they said when they buried my sister. <laughs> okay, Talana, I think it's, you're done talking now. You've used all the words for the day. Just, uh, just, just, just let's let's keep rolling, um, Ravnik. Keep rolling. Thank you. Thank you for meeting with us. You hear the grinding of the stones as he slowly AJ. moves out of the AJ, this area. I'll go after him. I'll, I'll keep her okay. back, and you can actually have a conversation <laughs> with him. I mean, if you think that's something we could do. 
Sir Abbott starts uh, heading out of the door. Uh, yeah. Hold on to her. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll see if I... Okay. Okay, I got it. Hey. Yeah. It's all right, Jelana. It's all right. It's all right. Oh. Come here. Um, oh, just, yeah. Napkin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just crying. I just can't believe people are there. Men just protect yeah, us. Don't protect it's, people. It's, they just let innocent just, people yeah, die. No, they don't just let people die. He's a builder. He's not a fighter. There's a difference. He should build people up and build their lives, not let them die. He can build walls. He can build protection. But no, Until Anna's voice door fades door. out as <laughs> Roberto heads <laughs> outside. Rabinick is moving slowly down the street, and Roberto's able to catch up to him easily. It's pretty cold out, colder than it's been probably since the beginning of the year. It's probably the clo- coldest night so far. The... The sky is clear, and you can see two of the moons up above, along with the uh, shape of the river moving sort of back and forth over the sky, which is our Milky Way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He, Roberto hops up alongside him and, and is kind of hopping backwards and, 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 and walking and going, I, I, I hope you're okay. Okay? Right? You know that, you know, we're just, we're just trying to help. Just trying to help everybody. I thought you two were nice and that you liked me. I wrote you a song. You burned down the tower. It wasn't on purpose. Did you see how messy your alchemical lab was? No, that's not my lab. It was horrendous. Bottles and beakers were mixed and put in places where they shouldn't have been. And why were you in there? You were supposed to be in the empty office next door to it. Because we were looking for information. There's evil out here. The dead are possessing people. The dead, my best friend has dead inside of him. And I need help getting it out without killing him. So I needed to get in to a certain library where there's certain books that might have the stuff we need to do that. You and Branson are just the same. Pretend to be friends to get what you want. Yes. Yes. At at times, absolutely. What would you do for a friend? Would you take off your cloak and won't give them a fair warning? That's what you did for us. My friend, he's a fish folk. He can't go back into the water because of the dead that's inside of him. He can't go home. He lost everything to the dead. Show me one person who hasn't. Show me one person that just curls up and dies. They do it all the time, but not us. We're willing to fight back. We're willing to do what it takes to get stuff done for the people. What have you lost, Ravnik? Tell me. I told you my my whole family collapsed and we're dispersed everywhere. What what have you lost? Have you ever been to Volk? Volk, Volk, I sailed past it. There were two stone folk villages in the mountains. Now there's one. The dead put out the fires of my village and my people. So I join the fellowship to do what I can to build, to build walls and towers. How long ago was that, Ravnik? <sighs> Years. Did a saint come by? No. Did anybody come by? No. This was before Volk was a part of Guildland. The fellowship didn't come that far south. Wow. Wow. Sorry to hear about your your fire of your village, your colony here. Does... Does the name St. Valtry mean anything to you? No, it doesn't mean anything. Okay. I heard there was a saint on the Isle of Oak, Volk. I don't know what, what, what all is going to happen. I'm sorry the way we treated you. That That's all I can say. All I can offer is that. I appreciate you taking time and uh, meeting us here. I got I As we're walking, I got I, I, I know I'm pushing my luck with all these questions. And and do you know anything about silver glass? I don't know much of what the ghost hunters do. It's not really my area of expertise. Okay. Why do you ask? I, I ran across a guy that happened to have some silver glass and a ghost in a jar in my travels. And when I talked to the ghost, he said... Uh, Balthazar put him in. When you say talk to the ghost, he stops walking. Why would Balthazar do something like that? That is my 
my greatest question, and it really spooked me out. And more importantly, why would you trust a ghost? Why wouldn't I trust a ghost or question what they have to say? All a ghost wants is to steal life from people. If it thought it could answer your question and break out, or if you would let it out, it must have some ulterior motive. Quite possibly. But he said, and that's that's what I thought too, okay? And I think that about most ghosts. They just want to be done. But what if, you, you, you can see where I'm going with this. I do. Be careful. Just be careful, Ravnik. I don't know what, I don't know what he's doing. If he's doing anything at all. Be okay? careful who you tell that to. I'm telling you because I figure you should know that a person of like you needs to know what they're walking into. A person who, a person I, who I screwed over, who I consider a friend, even I owe you. Okay. I don't, I don't, we don't want you hurt. We want you building. We want you, you know, being happy that someone's your friend. That's what we want. Um, Ravnik nods and holds out a big stony hand. Roberto grabs that hand as hard as his little paw can grab. And he, he, he reaches in and gives him a big hug on the arm as big a hug as he could. And when the hugs hug ends, Ravnik begins to walk away again. Rab watches him for a minute turns and puts his hood up and goes back to the poor side. You get just outside the door to the poor side. I'm going to cash in that triumph that Ravnik rolled when he warned you. As Roberto gets to the entrance of the poor side, he feels his muscles tense up and it's like something is trying to hold him in place. Oh, dear. He, let's see. Is that what that 666? Good Lord. Yeah. Wow. So six successes with one advantage. I am your puppet. Yeah. So he feels his muscles begin to tense and it's like something is holding him in place. And as he reaches for the door of the poor side, his hand moves back out of his control. And he turns around. Oh, no. Well, Roberto and Ravnik were having a conversation. Tagoa was consoling Talana. <laughs> yes. The poor side had gotten back to normal after Talana yelling at Ravnik. You gonna be okay? Maybe. Okay. I... I miss my sister, and it's all the paladins' fault. They just don't want to protect people. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can't say that it's all the paladins' fault. No, it's the necromancer's fault, and they shall die it, because I don't it, like whoa, them. Whoa, and they're whoa. evil, big and switch. they're horrible. Oh, and, that was a big and, switch. And, and okay, I yes. don't I like agree. them at I, all. And all I, necromancers I, should I, die. Well, yes, they. If, but conductors yes. are great because they help undead people to go don't, don't away. Clarify, they help them don't to go clarify. Away. You're very loud and everyone is hearing you. Just, just yes, I agree. All the commencers should die. I agree with you 100%. All I lost the undead my sister. should die too. And now I think all paladins should die because they're evil no, people no, too. No, well, no, look, no, no. Well, look, they're evil. No, you know what they're doing? No, they're going to let innocent people die. Calm they're down. not going to protect no, them. No, you're just, assuming. They're, they're... You are assuming. What does that do to you and me? If we keep assuming, it makes... It makes us smart. No, so what, what? we're going to you have a we're very going to protect intellect. the people who are who are innocent, and no, we're going to protect yes. them because we have magic, we, yes, well, we, sort of, and we have a we, sword. We, well, we, I have an axe, we, and you we, have a sword. We don't need to go through and, our inventory in public. It's fine. We're going to take care of those people, like we said we were going to. Well, so I think that we should go get Ra Roberto and we should yeah. go hunt down this evil, horrible, <laughs> rotten, no good for nothing necromancer and slice his head off uh -huh. and and gut him uh -huh. out and make all whoa, the undead whoa, things go back whoa. to the dead so that they just, just never, ever allowed to yeah, come back I, to being alive. Yeah. Yes. Ever. ever. I, 
like I can't arc- like we close I- the way for them to come back. <laughs> like 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 Roberta can go and like close the way, and and like no one can ever come out. What? Pat, 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 drinking a drink, just looking around at everyone else around the room. Just had a little bit too much drink. I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, yeah, we do need to get Roberto, but I'm sure he'll be back in time. I, I just think that tonight we should, when, when, when we have finished eating and, 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 and we We're have, drinking. like, yeah, you drinking. haven't even touched your drink. <laughs> and, and you need to drink your drink. I think <laughs> that we need to make a plan to destroy yeah, all stop. necromancers. We, we can't. Okay, we're not like that. blow the world up, but not the innocent what? people. Wait, just the what? necromancers. How does that? You no, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Can the, can we gather all the necromancers together and just like you, drown them in their oh, own oh, yeah. stupidity? That's a great and idea. Kill them all? <laughs> that's a wonderful idea. Yeah, get all the concentrated magic users of that regard all together so they can summon one big thing wonderful idea no Wait, we'll take them and summon them and put them back into like where they uh, came from which is the uh, dead and we'll just slice them up okay you, you know what you know what I, <laughs> I can see that you're upset slightly i'm sorry for your loss <laughs> thank you my sister meant the world to I, me and they didn't protect us <laughs> while this whole conversation is happening we have this view of Takoa and talana facing each other and the camera spins around to show them facing each other. And in between them, there's uh, an Ision who has just sort of sidled in, has an elbow on the, uh, the Is this edge the one of that was the, watching the everything? Yeah. Yeah, okay. And she's looking back and forth between the two of you as you talk. Hey there. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're pretty. Hi. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't help but over here. I'm sorry. I'm oh, no one crazy with my with my crying. I don't cry very often, but when I do, I'm loud. Well, I can't <laughs> help but over here that you two need to get out of town quickly. Yeah, but we also need to make sure that the poor innocent people just, stay alive. I'm just, just so upset. Just just one step at a time. Yes. The answer is yes. I might have some transportation for the two of you. Oh. And how much is that going to cost? Oh, uh, it's just going to cost a uh, hundred each. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's fast. A hundred? Defined fast. I have a hundred little things of rocks. They're pretty. Carrying around a hundred yeah, rocks? Yeah, look, right I now? have a little jar of rocks, the little pebbles. Look, they're about a hundred and one money, of them We do here. have enough money for this, so that's fine. Um, do you like the ro- Do you like yeah. pebbles? <laughs> Now, look, 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 Talana, look, you forgot. Pretty. They're but, shiny. But we got, I got them from my Tal- home, and they're really pretty. Excuse me, miss, my name is Takoa. <laughs> what is your name? Verity Pine. Verity? Verity Pine. Miss Pine. It's wonderful to meet you. You're so pretty. We Thank do you. have the financial means to accept your offer, but I need a little bit more details on that. Also, well, we might have a third person. We all do the better. Her. We got room. Speed depends on the wind, but I can help with that. Are we okay. okay? The wind. I'm a balloonist. Oh, oh, you make pretty balloons, like animal balloons. No, no. I <laughs> fly a rather large balloon. Oh, you oh. fly like a bird. Yes. Wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, so we're gonna. So like our feet will be <laughs> off the ground and we'll be up in the air. Looking at her, she is almost as tall as Takoa. She is a gray feathered Ision. Nice. Um, she's got sort of a reddish orangish beak with a little bit of black uh-huh. around her eyes. Okay. And a uh, crest of feathers on it that goes up on her head, gray and blue. Don't you get scared being so high? Do I what? Don't you get scared being up high? Not at all. It's fun. You'll like it. What if I fall? She... I'll go. I'll catch you. Oh, okay. What well, if you'll catch me? Okay. You don't want us dead, right? No. Okay. If you're dead, you don't pay. Well, yes, that would be good. Yeah. Is it is it all up front or is it half now, half later? How do you want to do that? How do you? We normally? can discuss terms. Mm, mm. Um, do you know anything about the uh, airship that's overhead? That big hunk of metal. I don't see yeah. how that thing flies. I, I, I've not really seen one before, so that's why I thought I would ask. Um, at least that's person. all the paladins. Okay, gotcha. Powered by lodestones or something like that. 
Mm. Okay. Um, how long does this offer last? I'm leaving in first thing in the morning. Okay. Well. First thing in the morning still gives us time to. Okay. Um, I need to go. We need to go get Rab. Do you want to stay with Miss Pine while I go get Rab, or do you want to come with? Sure. Or? I'll stay with the beautiful Miss Pine, and we can discuss terms. Very good. I, uh, you're going to so, be our spokesperson. I think Decline, that we fine. should. I'm going to get Rab. I'll be right back. <laughs> Tako goes to the table and, and like, pays the, the tab before he goes out to the out the door to go find Roberto. As uh, Takoa leaves the poor side, he sees Roberto being pulled. He, he's not walking. It's like he is being pulled through the air, his toes dragging on the ground towards oh. the sword points of two paladins. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Other Place. Liking the show and want more? Be sure to leave us a review wherever you get your podcasts and stop by our Twitter or Discord to say hello. The Other Place is a production of Nightcast Creative. Visit nightcastcreative.com to find out more about us and the podcasts we make. Last but not least, don't forget that October is Other Place Month. Watch out for new episodes, live plays, and more. Check our Twitter to find out everything that's going on.